Okay, here we go. I'm going to do a swing analysis here with Tom Brady. We all know he's the perfect quarterback with the perfect wife, so we'll see if he has a perfect golf swing here. First, we're just going to check some things in his setup, highlight some things I notice. His arms are hanging really well underneath of him here in this triangle. You know, when I zoom in on his grip, get rid of that line. Zoom out on his grip. His grip looks pretty good. I like how his right index fingers hooking the club, allowing a little bit of space there. The left hand looks like it's in a good position. It might be, uh, might be a little bit weak, but overall the grip looks pretty solid. One thing I do notice, I can definitely tell he's reaching for the ball a little bit. All right, his hands are a little bit too far out in front of him, putting a little bit of weight on his toes. And I'll show you what I mean later on in a swing, what I feel like it's causing it causing something else. Um, feet look pretty good. They're not too perpendicular, so this is going to turn pretty well. Uh, knees and things are pointed in a little bit. That's good. So overall, uh, setup looks really good. He can tell he's on very square lines here with his shoulders, hips, knees, and feet to the target line. So he has set himself up for success in my opinion. Just maybe a few things he needs to uh, kind of look at, see if they're causing other issues in the swing. So let's get into the swing. I'll start here on the right. So I'm just going to draw him back. First thing I notice is he does regrip the club and fidget around, which is good. That way he won't get too tense. Now as he draws back, you can see his head is following the club and his body in that sense too. So when he gets to the top, you can tell his head has jotted off in this position, uh, up and away off the ball. You can tell his hip is just swaying and sliding off the golf ball here. He's really not pivoting like he should. And the weight on, the, uh, on his foot here, on the left foot, um, on the outside, it's all kind of rolled over to the inside. So it's really not transferring correctly. It's more of just swaying over to the right side. He's loading up over here. Uh, feeling like he's getting a lot of power, which, you know, he can get his weight over there, but needs to pivot better. Okay, so over here on the left, we'll go ahead and draw him to the top. So again, we're just going to focus on his body for now. Now at the top, let's get him all the way. Okay, so this is right before transition. Again, you can see he has stood up off the ball here a few inches. You can tell he's came closer to the ball as far as his rear. So we'll go ahead and draw him back down into the swing. And he does a good job kind of dropping back down into the shot with his head. So he doesn't stand too tall on it. The head movements are pretty good at this moment. Um, considering what he's done off the ball. But you can tell that he's lost his posture and kind of just stood straight up here. You know, he wasn't able to maintain his spine angle as well as he could, especially being as good of an athlete as he is. So, over here on the right, we'll go ahead and just pull him all the way through. Now, you can tell that with his foot, he does allow the weight to plant back down. You know, when he does that, it is allowing his knees to brace, so he's doing a good job there is using the ground now for power. You can tell that with his hip, he allows the weight to, to get back over to his left side, and he's trying to get his head back into the hitting position. Um, from here, he does a pretty good job of posting up on the left leg. We'll clear these lines because there's a lot of stuff going on. Kind of got a sense of what his body's doing. He's doing a pretty good job of here of clearing on or posting on his left leg to turn around. Footwork here on the right's okay. He's spinning out a little bit on his right foot. Didn't drive as well as it could. He's not able to, since he's popped out of posture, he's not able to rotate his core towards the target as well as he should. It's also because his face is open. Uh, it, that that kind of limits him the ability to rotate like he should because the ball, he has to square up. Um, this is good. You notice his right hand's kind of coming off the club. That means there's not too much tension on it. That means it's more left side dominated. That's good to see. Um, left arm's maybe flying just a little bit. Right arm's releasing pretty well. But the overall finish position is good. Okay. 
just going to focus on a few things here with his golf club. He's, he's actually doing a lot better job with his club than he is with his body. So as we go back, you know, he stays in a good one piece. You know, he's allowing the club just to kind of hang in front of him. He's not manipulating it too much. Uh, the angles are pretty parallel to his beginning, or beginning shaft angle. Once he arrives at the top, his arm angles are really good. It's, I mean, it's like, it's like real good. Left arm's running across the shoulder line, right arm supporting it very well. Club face angle is in a pretty good position in relative to his left arm angle. Now he comes back down though. That's where things, you know, the swing plane's pretty, you know, the swing plane's good. He's on the correct plane as far as where he's wanting to hit to his target line. But if you see his face right now, it's off in this direction, right? If you see his face right now, it's off in this direction. It's just a touch open. As far as it being in line with his hands and things, it's, it's in a good position. He doesn't cross the line of flight. His club's always swinging inside that line I just put up. And again, the club face is releasing at a good angle. He's not flipping it over too hard or holding it off too much. So let's focus here just on the right real quick. Go ahead and just zoom in for a little bit better picture since the left is done. Again, good triangle uh, with his arms hanging in the beginning. As we pull off, he doesn't hinge the club too soon, which is good. You know, he allows good width uh, off the ball, so he is creating that. His arms are in pretty good positions at this moment. Right arm's not bending or folding too quickly. Golf is hinging at a pretty good rate. It's not too abruptly or floating too much. You can see here he's stopped shy just to parallel a little, and he's kind of already set the club there. And he, he does a good job of holding lag. So you can definitely tell he has a pretty decent amount of speed on his swing as far as in this respect, but he could definitely get more speed from his swing with his body. So losing a lot there. The lace is pretty clean. His arms aren't bunching up. Looks good. I mean, overall, when I look at this swing, I mean, and knowing what we know about Tom Brady, how gifted he is, uh, you know, there's a lot of room for improvement. I feel like this guy could be a pretty good golfer if, uh, you know, he committed a lot of time to it. So maybe now that he's down in Florida and Tampa, I have more chances to play golf. But it's been fun doing this, looking at his swing. And, uh, yeah, so that's Tom Brady. You all have a good day. Thank you.